and queens, if you're new here, it's your boy, Preston. Welcome to Daily Bread number 17, man. Number 17. First and foremost, all praises to the Most High Yahweh and His Son, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. Listen, I want to start this video off with a story. I used to work at this warehouse job, right? And when I was doing what everybody else was doing, everybody loved me. I was cool with everybody. Hey, yo, what up, Preston? Hey, you see the game last night? Oh, man, it was good, wasn't it? Right? But then one day I made a decision. I was like, you know what? I'm going to work past my breaks. I'm going to work past my lunch, man. Did I benefit from it? No. Did I make more money? No. I just wanted to do it. And you know what happened after that? People started hating on me, man. You want to know why? Because I was starting to stand out. People started to talk behind my back, man. I remember it was this one girl. She was off afar with two boys talking, right? Now, I didn't know they were talking about me until she put them on blast. And she was like, you know what, Preston? You're doing a good job. Keep going. Right? I just got a message like that today. Uh, shout out to Pretty Boss TV. All praises. But a month after that happened, I got a promotion. And the same people that was hating on me, the same people that was talking behind my back, the same people that was trying to get other people to come against me, was asking me, how did I do that, man? They was asking me for help. And that brings me to the word of today, man. Do not dim your light. Don't let anybody, listen to me, don't let anybody make you feel guilty for succeeding, man. You're making progress. And you got people coming out the woodworks trying to distract you, man. Right? You might be in your family, right? You might be achieving something that nobody has seen before and nobody's giving you your props, right? But as soon as you do one thing wrong, now they down your throat. Now they on your head. Right? You just did the worst thing ever, man. Right? You might be at a job, right? As soon as you start working past your breaks, now everybody want to give you a hard time. Right? People want to call you an overachiever. You might be a YouTuber, man. As soon as you start to gain a little bit of, uh, a little bit of success, now all of a sudden people might start making videos about you, man. You're becoming successful. You're making it. People see that light in you. You're making it, man. That's what happens. Uh, what's that one phrase? When you're playing a video game, you know you're going the right way when, when you start seeing enemies. You got, hate, you got haters now, man. What? You got haters, man. You making it. When the mo, uh, when Yahweh Shai started his ministry, right? When he was low in numbers, they weren't worried about him. But as soon as his numbers grew, they started to have crafty counsel, man. And they set that man up to crucify him, man. You're becoming successful. This is why people are trying to turn other people against you. This is why people are trying to copy you. This is why people are trying to steal from you, man. This is why people are trying to discourage you. Because you're making it. And you're close. People can see, listen to me, people can see what's coming for you before you see it. And you just in your own world, man. You making it. You're becoming successful. And you can't allow these stuff, the, these distractions to distract you, man. Because it's all an illusion. It's all smoke and mirrors, man. Right? You can let people hate on you. You can let people ignore you. You can let them to re you can let them reject you, man. It doesn't matter. The most high is with you. And you make it. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You making it. You're becoming successful. You're becoming successful. And you can't be overwhelmed right now, man. You cannot be overwhelmed right now, man. You, God has made you to be who you are at this time, at this hour, at this moment, man. 
the first thing the enemy tries to do to discourage you and distract you, the first thing that he does is he attacks your identity. He attacks your identity. People come after your, your pride. They come after your, your questionable character. People might start calling you fake. They might call you phony, right? But these people don't even know you. And the more you become successful, the more you climb up that ladder, man, people gonna start saying stuff to you and you can't even respond, man. And you shouldn't want to, to be honest. You gotta stay focused. Remember crabs in a bucket, people trying to bring you down, man. Let them ignore you. Let them reject you, right? Let them make Facebook posts about you, man. Let them start rumors and gossip about you. Let them make YouTube videos about you, man. Let them make Instagram stories, Snapchat stories about you, man. It's not going to stop what God's doing in your life. You can't be stopped right now. They just going to have to burn in your light, man. You cannot be stopped. The anointing can't be stopped. The anointing has no choice but to increase and be fruitful, man. It has no choice. You're going further, faster. And some people, they just going to be jealous of you, man. They just going to be jealous of you. Because some of these people out here, they're narcissists. Let's be real, man. They're so used to people telling them, oh, you're so funny. You're the best. You're the greatest. And then when somebody else comes along and takes the spotlight off of them, now they got a problem with you, man. Now these people want to undermine you and cut you off from the legs, man. You got people out here, they, they, they want to they wanna try to copy you and do what you do, man. But people don't know how many times you prayed. People don't know how many times you go on a fast. People don't know what you been through to deserve this increase, man. You're becoming successful, man. Deal with it. You're becoming successful. You, you got haters, man. On your road to success, on your road to the top, you're going to have enemies, man. But you're also going to create some allies. You about to create, listen to me, you about to find, your, you about to find some real friends. You about to find some real ones, man. People that's like-minded. People that's been through what you've been through. People that's uh, going through what you're going through right now. You're making it, man. You're making it. You cannot, listen, you cannot afford to be distracted right now. Don't let people make you feel guilty for making it. Don't let people dim your light now. Don't let them dim your light, man. Because there's somebody that, that needs to hear what you got to say, man. God allowed you to be who you are. He positioned you to be who you are and what you are right now. So what you gonna do? You can either dim your light to appease man or you're gonna obey God, but you can't do both. You can't do both. You can't shy away from the spotlight now. God put you there, man. You're disobeying God if you do that. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. They can hate you all they want, man. But it ain't going to work. It doesn't matter. Eventually, all that stuff they doing to you is going to die off while you succeed and you rise into the top, man. This is your moment, man. And, and I, I, man, you got to you got to have supreme confidence right now, man. You might not know where you're going. You might not have the vision all the way clear, man. But God knows where you're going. And you if you as long as you trust him. You can't lose. God knows exactly why you're going. He knows exactly where you're going. Excuse me. That's why you're moving so fast. That's why everything is, is being uh, accelerated so rapidly. He knows where you're going. He knows, yo, he knows every hater that's coming your way. He knows all the opposition that's coming your way. 
He know the, the crafty counsel people gonna try to do behind your back to try to destroy you and try to tear you down. He even know your allies that's coming to help you. He's sending you your allies. Watch for the people, watch for the people that come out of nowhere and encourage you. Watch for the people that come out of nowhere and help you and uplift you, man, and motivate you. Those are those people are sent by the most high. Those people got your back. You're becoming successful, man. You're becoming successful. And to some of y'all, listen, you're not used to having the W. Some of y'all, y'all not used to having haters, man. You're not, you're not used to having people want to be like you, trying to follow you. You're not used to that, man. But the Most High put you in the spotlight, man. And it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to shine. Please don't dim your light, man. Please don't feel ashamed. Please don't feel, feel guilty for, for, don't allow God's blessings to embarrass you, man. Don't allow God's blessings, don't let, don't let God's uh, stamp of approval and his validation embarrass you. He's, cho he's choosing you. And listen, man, if you think the most high, if he think, if you think he's not going to test you on your way to the top, you're playing yourself, man. It all the blessings is for you. But the most high, he's going to test you, man. He know who coming your way. It's all an illusion. It's all smoke and mirrors, man. You got to have tunnel vision and you got to look past it. There's two types of people, man. Either you're in the game or you're on the sidelines talking about people that's in the game. The people that's doing all this, they not in the game, man. Your haters, they not in the game, man. They watching you, though. They talking about you, though. You're becoming successful, man. Don't shy back. Don't coward back. Don't turn back. Don't go back. Trust God. Trust where he's taking you. Trust where he's taking you. He knows where he's moving you. Don't be embarrassed by the blessings, man. Don't be overwhelmed by how fast you're moving. Don't let the, the, the hate of other people, you know, cause you to be bitter. Don't go down to their level. You stay focused, man. You show everybody love. And you do your thing, man. And that's the word of today, man. Don't, don't dim your light, man. Please don't dim your light. Be who you are. Don't listen to me. They gonna come after your character. They gonna come after your identity. You know who you are. You know who you are. You know your heart. You know your spirit. You know what you do behind closed doors. And be who you are, man. And let your light shine. All right, man. I hope this word encourages you. I hope it blesses you, man. Please share if you feel led to. All praise to the Most High. Until next time, keep the faith.